Karachi, Pakistan. In 2021, a four-pause team of veterinary experts was asked by the Sindh High Court to assess the well-being of the last four elephants in Pakistan, after the keeping conditions in the city's zoos sparked public outcry. The expert team, led by Dr. Amir Khalil, needed to find out as much information about the animals as possible to help them. Everything was observed and documented in a report for the High Court. But during the preliminary veterinary examination of the four elephants, the team found that Nur Jahan at Madhubala required urgent help. So in general, uh, the big, big problem is uh, with the task. So the both tasks are broken off and infected. So this uh, has to be solved. Most likely it needs a really severe surgery to remove the task totally. It's here an inflamed uh, surrounding tissue. is uh, really severe. That uh, is a process which is at least uh, ongoing for more than a year and it is painful, yeah. The exposed tusk pulp could cause an infection that could travel up into the skull and cause brain damage or even blindness. The team desperately needed to operate on the elephants to help relieve their pain. The local authorities, however, needed time to assess the team's report. We were looking for this recommendation to be accepted and approved, because without approval of the authority and the high court instruction, it will be also impossible totally for four paws. Totally without a green light, we cannot step in. Absolutely. All the four paws team could do was anxiously wait for the Sindh High Court's ruling. Now, eight months later, Four Paws has received the green light from the local authorities to carry out the revolutionary surgery on elephants Nur Jahan and Madhubala. The Four Paws team with the experts are here to treat four elephants. This was by invitation by the Sindh High Court in Karachi. And it was really a groundbreaking decision that we were invited for the chance to treat the animals well because they have a lot, lot of problems with their teeth and that's why the experts are here to treat them. Team of Forbos finally arrived to Karachi. We are at Karachi Zoo now. Uh, we are in the last preparation for the theater for the operation tomorrow. And we are very happy and the team is excited for the coming days. As an operation like this can be incredibly risky, the team must be prepared for any and all complications that may arise. It is open today, yesterday was closed. Yeah. And you can see the root of the task, which should be removed and to clean the infection. It's very clear to see the swallowing here. And I think this is the main reason of the pain, or the pain the elephant to have and sure affect his behavior in general with his health. As the day draws to a close, the team is still hard at work, ensuring everything is prepared for the morning's operation. But two key pieces of the puzzle are still missing. Dr. Frank and Dr. Thomas, the experts in charge of this complicated procedure, are yet to land in Pakistan. Unfortunately, we learned today that uh, the plan is not always fitting with the reality uh, because our wet team from Berlin sticks into Pakistan. So the four post uh, team is really engaged to prepare the, the surgery for tomorrow. Unfortunately, it's delayed. But anyway, uh, we will do the, the mission uh, like planned, but a little bit delayed. And um, now it's all about improvisation. And just as a rainstorm moves in overhead, so the operation looms and draws closer by the minute. Day 3 at Karachi, Operation Day for Madhubala. Good morning, today is the D-Day for the elephant Madhuba. Finally, the team of four balls is completed now. We are already in preparation for all the equipment and tools and the medicine to proceed with the weighted important surgery to relieve her chronic pain, which is in her tooth uh, roots since a long time. So we are very excited, very happy. It's a longer procedure, heavy procedure, but we have here a qualified and a professional team. 
A surgery like this has never been done before, so the team does not know what complications they might run into. For it, our veterinary experts will perform a standing sedation, where the elephants can remain standing the entire time while under anesthesia. It is a completely novel approach for an operation of this scale, but doing so will allow the vet to move around the three-ton elephant more easily and safely carry out the procedure. First, the team uses an endoscope, a small camera inserted into the tusk to assess the situation. Unfortunately, it reveals the tusk to be more rotten than previously thought. With this new insight, the team embarks on a life-changing surgery to remove the broken tusk completely. It's what we said, inside it is a big abscess, a lot of worms, worms are inside, so can you imagine which vein is this animal suffering? Hour by hour, piece by piece, the surgeons remove the broken tusk and for the first time, relieve Madhubala of pain. This could be the longest operation done with an elephant with a standing sedation and to work on both sides. It was expected to do operation between two and three hours, but over five hours and 40 minutes took the operation. So the final goal that we can take out the task in one piece, we couldn't fulfill because the task was so rotten, it had broken parts, so we had to move parts. Today we saved the life of this female and uh, we are not at the end yet, uh, so we have to continue with the treatment, but our team uh, already consulted with the local vets and we are very optimistic that we achieve our goal. A grueling five hours and 40 minutes later, the surgery is a success. But this only marks the mission's halfway point. With night closing in, the clock is ticking for Nur Jahan's surgery the following morning. Day four of the mission. The team turns its attention to Nur Jahan, hoping that today's surgery will be simpler than yesterday's. I was very happy this morning to see Madubala enjoying her breakfast. I saw that the wound is uh, much calmer and uh, of course we will flush it this morning again. But first we want to pay more attention to Nur Jahan, who is ready and waiting for us to start uh, first with the endoscope uh, to check what is the condition of the tasks. The situation looks not so bad and so um, infected as with uh, Madubala, but uh, let's see what, um, what the camera will show. The endoscope confirms the team's prediction that the tusk is not as bad as Madhubala's. But there is still a lot of careful work that needs to be done to safely remove the infected tusk. It is slow, labor-intensive work, chipping away at rotten, infected tusk and removing any infected tissue along the way. Finally, the team prepares the newly cut surface of the tusk, ensuring the tusk canal is free from infection. So the operation for the team today was long, was also exhausted but it was not so stressful like the operation and not so much developed and I will say fatal like this operation from yesterday. This elephant has no pain anymore, is not more bothered by flies which laying eggs inside the tooth and uh, that was actually a perfect outcome. Another successful surgery accomplished. But hidden behind this triumph lies a chilling past the team will never fully understand. It is a little bit surprising that two elephants have tasks which were so smoothly uh, removed uh, until the opening of the alveole. We don't know the full truth, but it is a strong indication that uh, someone has cut these tasks, maybe by purpose to, to be uh, more safe, or it was a criminal background and someone cuts a task to sell the ivory. Uh, we don't know the story, and I think uh, no, nobody will ever know the full story, but uh, actually how the task looked, they were uh, man-made uh, shortened. 
One thing we all know is that no matter the past of these elephants, their future looks bright. The team's final day in Pakistan begins with a visit to Karachi Zoo. To check on the progress elephants Madhubala and Nur Jahan have made overnight. With a little teamwork and bribery, the vets can inspect both elephants' tusks and confirm they are both on their way to a full recovery. How far you can go? No! <laughs> Too slow. Now, the team turns its attention to providing the on site animal caregivers the tools they need to provide proper care for the elephant's ongoing One convalescence. Bottle One bottle per head. Daily? Daily. So. And then you can use uh, the tablets. How much tablet? Happy that Madhubala and Noor Jahan are in loving and capable hands of the on site animal caretakers, the team continues on to Karachi Safari Park, checking in on elephants Malika and Sonu who they haven't seen in almost a year. When the team first visited, the conditions of the elephant's feet and some behavioral signs of stress suggested that Malika and Sonu had spent most of their 12 years in Pakistan living in these concrete cages. But since the Four Paws team's recommendations have come into effect, the elephants are doing much better. So when we came here, I was really happy to see the elephants outside in the green. It was a totally different picture than last year. The feet, they look much better. They are able to, to clean it, to wash it and uh, starting to do foot care. And also they, they lost weight. So the combination of reduction in, in sugar cane and improvement and of, of uh, exercise, that's a good strategy. So I'm really happy to see this. Content that the elephants of Karachi Safari Park are on the road to a better life, the team focuses its energy on suggesting options on how to improve the lives of the four Karachi elephants further. Working with the locals, the expert team suggests that more space and enrichment are necessary for the elephants' long-term welfare. Because this is for your children and the future of Pakistan, it will be protected for the elephant. This is the idea. And this could be a wonderful place. Anyone come in Pakistan or to Pakistan can see the elephant room. This is what the elephant want. Dr. Amir's team can finally breathe a sigh of relief and leave Karachi knowing the elephants of Pakistan are in good hands and on their way to a full recovery. This mission has been a great success for Four Paws, and with your support, we can continue to reveal, rescue, and protect animals all around the world. It is. <laughs> if you would like to support our work, make sure to subscribe and share this video so you too can contribute to animal welfare worldwide.